Looking so, so like a rose Happy I already now for this pose yeah. I'ma show you how Baby do it slow and I be like Woo! Banging all night You know this was a tie Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Loop Masters, and it's time for another Ableton Live production-based tutorial. And in this video, we're gonna talk about file management. Once you've got a track going or a track finished, you wanna archive it, or maybe you wanna share it with a collaborator or make a remix pack or whatever you wanna do, but you've got your files and they're kind of scattered all around your computer. Some are from the Ableton library, some are from your samples folder, some are from your acapella folder, this, that, and the other thing. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to manage your project files the best way. So a lot of you will probably just come into file and collect all and save, which is gonna gather all of the files outside of your project and put them inside of the project folder. It's gonna duplicate those files from their original location and put them into the actual Ableton Live project folder, which is a great thing to do, uh, especially if you don't wanna pull up the track on a different computer or later on in time and have missing file view and make sure it's file manager. You might have something like the help there. Uh, when you do that, you just wanna to come to file manager. So if, in fact, if I close it, come to view, file manager, it will open that way as well. And now I can choose to manage set or manage project. So I'm gonna just go ahead and manage the project. I've only got one set inside of the project. So this is where I can go. Uh, it's gonna show me where the location is and it's gonna show me the contents and I can show them at any time. It's just gonna show me inside of here. Right there, boom. These are the freeze and consolidated files that are inside of the project. If you freeze or consolidate any of your files, that's what we're gonna show them right here. It's gonna say missing files here. If there are some, you're gonna to wanna to locate those. This project doesn't have any. Moving down, we have external files. You can see here I've got six files that are outside of the project on my computer. And I can hit show, and these are the files that are outside of the project file. And I can, I can preview those if I want by clicking on them. And I can choose to collect into projects. This is where your collect all and save comes into play. So if I hit yes right here and then move on to the next one, I've got 78 files from factory packs and it totals 15.6 megabytes. Now, I can either choose to let those go or choose to collect those into my project. If I'm gonna be sharing this project with somebody that maybe doesn't have all of the same packs that I do for Milton Live, I'm gonna to wanna to collect those files into the project. Now, if I'm gonna be sharing this with someone who doesn't have Ableton Live, what I'm gonna to wanna to do is freeze these tracks. For example, these two tracks up here at the top use drum kits from Ableton Live packs in the Ableton Live stock library. So I'd wanna freeze those and send the audio files. That's for a different video, but I could choose to collect those into the file now if I want to. There's also two unused files down here at the bottom. And these are a frozen track, which again, I can show and listen to. That's actually this first one frozen. So if I was gonna be sharing this with someone that's using Logic, I'd wanna keep that file. But if I'm just saving this for an archive later on and I'll be using Ableton Live and I'll have all of the same packs, I can just go ahead and delete it. Right click, delete, move to trash. Now I only have one unused file inside my project and it's a consolidated file. Again, show. Okay, so it's this kind of effect, and I can see I've got that effect here, but I just have it in a shorter clip right here. So again, I can delete that. Right click, delete. And now my project file is actually gonna be smaller when I save it. So now I can do my collect all and save now. And what that's gonna do is collect all the files that are outside of the project and pull them into this project file. So when I save this or share this or use it in the future, I'll have all of the project files and I don't need to worry about missing files. Now there's one other thing that you can do to really shrink and archive anything. So if I come back in here and come down to packing, I can create an Ableton Live Pack where I says I can easily archive and share this. If you have any external files, it's gonna give you a warning saying, hey, you've got external files. If you archive this, those external files are not going to be in the project later on it'll give you that kind of hint or warning but we're good to go it does know that we have some external files from factory packs in here but it's not going to give us that warning because it's going to assume that you're making an ableton live pack you're going to be opening it with ableton in the future and you'll probably have access to those packs again so i'm going to go ahead and create pack and if i go to my desktop and just you know 
whatever your project file name is, you just want to say blah, 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 archive, and then hit save. And I'll say, okay. And if I come to my desktop now, here it is. It's an Ableton Live pack. It's actually very, very small. You can see here that I've got 29.7 megabytes. Uh, that's a very, very small project file. Uh, some things to keep in mind though when you're doing this is that if you were using a VST, like I'm using FabFilter for this baseline here, if I open this project file in a different version of Live or in the future and I don't have that plugin anymore, that audio is not going to be happening. So a good idea would be to freeze, right click and freeze. Of course, I've got some sidechain compression on there. So I'd have to come down here and delete that and just kind of remember that as happening. Uh, go ahead, right click, freeze. And you'd want to do that for everything that uses a VSTi. And now that that's frozen, I don't have to delete the VST, but I do have the audio bounce now on top of the actual VST itself if I unfreeze for the future, whether or not I need it. So that's just a quick look at the project file manager inside of Ableton Live. It's a lot more detailed, gives you a lot more information about your project itself. You can delete those unused files. You can collect any external files and this and that. And it's just a better way to go about archiving your projects than just the standard collect all and save over in the file menu. So anyway, I hope you learned something. This is Joshua Casper here for Loop Masters, and I'll see you in the next video. Check it out. My skin's so, so look around.